Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'll tell you what, this is going to be exciting. I'm going to take you guys under the hood of the engine and we're going to see what's going on because I will kind of want to give some insight into the project, um, into kind of where my thought process is and kind of how I'm trying to organize and conquer and take over the freaking world. Jokes aside, here we go. So right here, this is my readme.md page. I'm currently working on developing it out. This is what I got so far. It's looking all right. Uh, just kind of gives a little bit of um, insight into some of the packages I'm using, some of the languages that were used to create this project and everything that this whole thing entails. And if you're just arriving to this video and you haven't seen any, any of the uh, prior context into what am I actually working on, well, let's take you to it. So right here, this is my application. Uh, this is the e-commerce side of things. Um, I have a map that focuses on Aransas, and then I have maps that focus on Ukraine. So that's the gist of it. Um, I'm a full stack developer. I focus in Django development and a form of creating React content uh, where I create these dashboards and these tools uh, that allow um, interactivity, and it allows uh, context to data and a way to organize, keep track, and to have a, a place for you to conduct business because not having this you know you set yourself up for an extreme liability so what I'm trying to do here is my goal is I'd like to articulate how to build this yourself and I'd like to get other people interested in programming because programming has changed my life and I want to use you know what I have learned to hopefully help change other people's lives for the better because looking around man life is getting hard and I think we can all agree on that so um, with you know this digital age that we're walking into I'm a 1996 baby it was put in a bracket where there's a few of us who are really damn good with the computer and lucky enough I guess the stars lined up and as insane as I might sound and be half the time there is a lot of complexity behind the scenes and I have a pretty good plan of how to execute and make things happen so with all that said let's kind of give an idea of all right you want to see how big this project is well here we go we're talking about 900,000 different files 900,000 different things and what I'm looking at right here I'll, I'll make this a little bit bigger it's on this left hand side you can see how many times this application is broken into different spots this is obnoxious with how many folders we have in this project to launch a full stack application but this right here is what it takes to be successful. This right here, this prep, learning a language for five years, developing out these different applications that interconnect into your own little ecosystem, this isn't easy. And it takes a lot of tedious work to get um, everything you know, punctuated, uh, to get all your T's crossed and your I's dotted, and for the code to actually act and interact with people the way that you intended to. Now, we still haven't even got it all done where I want it because I have to get this thing ready for the App Store. And right now, we are sitting damn pretty on at least the web, but we have other areas where we can expand our horizons into. So right now, I'm trying to get this mobile friendly and put it on the App and Play Store because I think that's where the majority of the people are at. So with that, uh, there's a few things I have to get done. Um, each one of these kind of is self-explanatory. Each one of these is just focused on a specific area within the application. So Academy, I'm trying to teach you guys something. And I'll be publishing more um, condensed versions and articles and snippets on my side in regards to the Academy. So you have to have an account to see some of this, you know? And, and this is that extra information that's really going to make the difference in you um, nailing in this industry or being left behind. So outside of that, you know, addresses. I'm, I'm not trying to collect that much information, but you know what? If you order something, I need to know where to send it. So that's what I'm doing, um, and that's what that is for. Analytics, uh, self-explanatory, API. I got a few APIs I'm working on. Uh, basket, catalog, checkout, communication, compose, customer, dashboard, digital items, home, um, the actual application itself is like settings and stuff. Um, you got the map, um, and that's going to be focused on Aransas. I got media that basically organizes all the different static elements uh, that are being uploaded to the application so that they can be reserved to you. Um, we have offer, um, order, partner, payment, search, shopping, static, static route, uh, templates, Ukraine, vouchers, wish list, 
and then a YouTube studio that really isn't anything right now. And on the bottom, you can see a bunch of Docker files, and um, this just allows me to uh, create this application in a fast way and to have something that is basically um, a way to cookie cutter, uh, you know, launch and relaunch on different servers so that other people, they can take this uh, because eventually I would like to open it up to the public domain um, so that you can have access to this code and so that you can conform it so that it meets your needs and criteria and so that you can you know set up a foundation for yourself to have a store and a shop that allows you the ability uh, to grow yourself and your network and to have a honeypot to basically network and everything into because the way that this works is you want to have that you want to have something that you own and with working in e-commerce and uh, respirator masks I realize the liability of having a middleman and right now I am the middleman for some people and my margins are a lot better than what I received and I am a fair person to work with and if you are interested in trying to expand I have a lot of eyes on me and I have a lot of people hitting the application because I have a lot of different sources that are reaching to this so if you have you know valuable things or if you have context in the few areas that I am initially starting in as far as mapping is concerned and like I said reach out and I'm trying to find admin to throw into the application and help grow and scale so that we have a strong team to take over the way that we need to so what I want to say in regards to the maps because I think the maps is the most interesting thing that I have in regards to this application and I do not want this thing to last forever so I'm not gonna elaborate too hard on it but I do want to give some insight so this is the map and whenever you create an application there are a few things this has a few more like you know but we have a views um, feel comfortable showing you the views so I'm gonna save that but what happens is is that whenever somebody gets sent to the application um, it goes to the URL um, and then the URL asks the view okay what am I supposed to render and then the view finds the template to render so what I have to do and this is where it gets um, a little let me show you the Ukraine one because that's gonna give you real context into what I, work I have in front of me so um, or is it Ukraine TM okay so this is the same concept as the one above because these maps are very similar but if I go to Ukraine and I go to dash and then I go to districts these are all of my districts okay and each one of these has a filter it has Russian military context and then it has a type filter so what I have to do is each one of these has to have their own map and if you see where I'm going here this has just as much stuff and this does too so now if I just continue to go down this rabbit hole of 28 of these compounded by each one of these you can see that whenever I open up one of these files and I don't mind doing that for y'all let me go into everything actually I think that would probably be the best one so I'm gonna go into everything okay to give you guys a little bit of an idea here what's going on I'm gonna go into everything that everything so there's two things happening here I have an HTML side of things, and then I have a Flask application that is being rendered on my Django application, and it's on top of my HTML. Okay, if you're following me. So what's happening is, is that this right here is the actual map, and what we have here is some imports. We have a request that is being sent to the back end in the database it takes this request and it basically filters based on you know what is the criteria so if I am searching by a city I add province or vice versa so up here I add province you know and I could basically point to which area I am trying to do but it has to all match with the initial it's a lot of strings here so if I continue to go down and then there's other things that are important where's this map supposed to start what's the longitude and latitude what zoom is the map at you know and then I have to take all of this data and I have to organize it because I have an icon you know for every icon that's getting uploaded to the map I have anchor points I have a height I have a URL I have an image I have a description and I have to put all this into a data frame and what I am doing is I am putting it in a layer on top of the flask application so that this layer will allow me to show tooltips so whenever you hover over it you get context 
And then underneath that, you have R equals, um, you know, what is the rendering of everything. And that just creates into this app. And then, wada boom, bada bam, uh, we put that app into a layout. And then that layout gets put into the HTML. And now the HTML has a bunch of different features. We got jQuery, we got data tables, we got a lot of custom styling, uh, we got a form that needs to be filled out, and this shows all the different provinces that is over here, okay? And over here, we have all the different filters, and all of these need their own maps. And if we continue to go down, we can see this right here, this is that application that I was referring to in this last one, this, this Python application. This is how I'm bringing it back into the HTML. All right, now there's still some magic that needs to be done into the views, which you still don't have any context into. Now, this is a lot, and I don't want to continue this any farther. But the point is, is I am doing this all by myself. I have been doing this all by myself. I've been doing this for years, picking at this project for years. I have put everything into it. And right now, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't posted anything on YouTube because I have had to focus on this. And I had to do it uh, nonchalant, you know, a little under the radar. And I couldn't maintain a YouTube channel and have a job. And I was juggling a full-time job while building this out on the side. And I I'm killing myself. If I'm honest, I'm killing myself. With the amount of work I have in front of me, with everything I have to do, and I feel like I have to do it for myself, for Ukraine, for my community, because the opportunity, because of what I can contribute, and I want to help lead other people into, you know, this profession. So if this does, you know, resonate with you, and if you appreciate this insight and the back end of, holy crap, Austin's got more on the burner than you think, Help me out, honestly. I'm just being straight. You know what? Like, subscribe, go in the shop. I haven't posted anything in two years on this YouTube channel, all right? And I'm trying to get back in the space, and I'll be honest, it's hard, all right? And right now, I am up on an uphill battle, and I'm the only one walking, all right? So if you can, if you appreciate it, help me. And with that, thank you guys for your time. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and just keep on kicking ass. I just need a way out I'll do anything for a way out I just need a way out Oh my head